Hello everyone, welcome you all. So today we are with another episode of TestNG framework tutorials. So, so far we have seen the TestNG introduction, the configuration of TestNG in Eclipse IDE and creating a, a TestNG project from Maven and the Selenium Java. So today I will show you how can we create a classes or we can say TestNG tests using a TestNG approach. So I will show you. So let me open my Eclipse and uh, will open a Maven project which we have created in the last tutorial. So here we have created a TestNG project. So let me open this TestNG XML because this TestNG XML plays a major role in uh, executing the test scripts. So this TestNG XML has a suit and we have a test. So this test launches the tests what we have given in the classes area. So this class, so which we are, it's currently pointing to the one of the package from here. So it's a package. Then after we have a class name here. So it's a classes. And I will show you uh, here. So currently it is pointed to Maven test ng and Maven test ng. So this is the, the the class which is pointed here. So when we created the test ng XML. And here we have a thread count phi and, and the name as test. So we can remove this thread count as phi now. Maybe I can provide you more details on this uh, entire test ng XML later. So I will name this as demo test ng. And let me create one class here. So let me create one class under this uh, same package. So let's say I'll right click on my project. So I will right click on my project and I go to bottom. So you need to go to the bottom of this options. Then you will see create test ng class. So once I click on the test ng class, so it is pointing to a uh, test ng source test Java. Currently, it is pointed here. So I can choose a package here. So in case if I wanted to create a new package, then I can create a new. But I am selecting the existing Maven test ng, and I will select this package currently. And then after, so this help this option help us in creating the quick annotations. So I no need to go again to my class and type something test rate test before test at rate after test. So it is a, a time saving process where I can quickly select what all things I needed. So let's say I say all like before method or I will say before class and after class and I need a test annotation too. So test annotation will come by default. So I need these two before and after test and before and after class and I will say if my say XML suit file, so in case of there is an XML suit file, I can provide that else I can go and finish. So here we have the following uh, class has been created and here we have a test and we have a before class and after class. So these are the annotations that is been created and currently it is giving an error because so here we have a, a JRE system libraries and Maven dependencies. So we need to import the test ng libraries too. So to import that, if it, if we are in a test ng or Maven project, just uh, import that into our project. So here it is pointing to uh, add JUnit4 libraries and add test ng libraries. So just click on add test ng libraries. So as soon as I click on the test ng libraries, it will import all the test ng libraries. So if you see, there is one more library created, which is the test ng. So under that test ng, it is pointing the test ng seven version. So it is using a test ng seven version. And these are all the annotations which are under this test ng seven version. So let's say let quickly add some sysouts here. So just I wanted to show you how it will work. So out I say this is my test area and I will say again this out this out and here I will say this is my precondition preconditions area and after class, I will say again sysout. 
so I will say this is my post conditions area so just quickly save this and let's quickly run it so I can run it from here either I can point the same thing through my testng.xml so I need to if I wanted to point this to a testng.xml then I need to provide till here so my class name is a new class and this is my package so I will say so I will copy this package name here and I will copy my test as well so I need to run this so for that I will copy this entire package plus class so I will go to again testng.xml under the testng.xml I will paste it here so if I run this so if I go and quickly run here if I click on quick uh, run button and let's save so you will see the console uh, outputs what we have written so it is uh, launching so let's wait for a time actually we are running for a very first time so it will take some time so this is the test it is been executed so you can see the sorts which we have written so first we have given the precondition area and then after test area and post condition so generally when we write any test cases we do follow this type of rules so post and preconditions are must because to log in into any application we need a user valid credentials then after the operation of login then after logging out from the application so these are all operations that we can do it from this area so here you can see it has given the suit and we have executed a suit so that suit total test run was 1 pass was 1 failure was 0 and skip was 0 the reason we called we have given the at the rate annotation only 1 that is the reason it is saying test run was 1 and pass was 1 and failure was 0 let me go back to the test so here see we have this four line seven three annotations at the rate test at the rate before class at the rate after class so these are all intention so only one test has been there so if I wanted to increase another test so I will say at the rate test and you need to import org dot test ng dot annotations and I will say public void I will say again G and I will open it I will again write this out here system dot out so this is my test area 2 so I will say this is my test area 1 so I quickly save it and again I go and run my test ng XML. now you can see it has launched our test and where test ng1 test annotation 1 was run and then after test 2 was run and you can see the pre and post conditions are only repeated once because it is a before and after class because before and after classes are invoked when these test annotations has been invoked and after invoking tests then after class will be invoked so in case if you wanted to add a condition that repeats every test so you wanted to repeat that test on every test annotation so here I will give so it's not like we need to maintain an order here so we can write it anywhere you can write it at the bottom you can write it at the top still the annotation works as per the test ng rules so I will say before before method and I will say public void and I will say before before method and here I will again give one sysout here so here I will say 
uh, I I need a application URL okay I can say application valid application URL valid application URL so whatever that will be so we'll see that I'll part later this I want to show you how this mechanism works here before and after after method and I will provide again public void after after method and I will say in post condition I will say close or close the application URL okay so here so if I generally so what happen in the website so after you launch the application it will check for valid URL then valid URL then you will log in into the application you will perform some functionality and then you will again log out and you will perform some uh, application to close or driver dot close driver dot quit or whatever operations so let's quickly save it and again jump into the test ng XML and quickly run here here you can see here so it has been repeated so I need a valid application URL repeated for one time and I need a valid application URL two times because this acts like a test at the rate test so each test case should have pre and post condition not like entire suit has a pre and post condition but even my test annotation should have a pre and post conditions so that way after me after method or before method will perform like a test case before and after method and whereas before class and after class perform entire suit before and after class so this is how the test ng annotations works here and we'll discuss more in detail in upcoming tutorials so this i have wanted to show you the behavior and the mechanism of this entire annotations so we need to understand this annotation before we jump into the framework so i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and there are more videos coming up please stay tuned thank you for watching